Pima County Sheriff's detectives crack a high profile cold case and tonight we hear from family members. Linda Watson disappeared 15 years ago. Her ex-husband, a Tucson firefighter, is now accused of killing her and two other women. Good morning, what's your name? Dave Watson. And that is David Watson in video court this morning facing first degree murder charges. He's being held on $2 million bond. Nine on your side's Keaton Thomas has the details on the arrest. But first, we go back to the beginning and learn more about David Watson's relationship with the family. A bitter child custody case between David and Linda Watson is what started all this about 15 years ago. Linda Watson disappeared from her home just days before another custody hearing for her daughter, and there was evidence of struggle on the walls. Coffee all up the wall and, and blood all underneath the, the bags. That is Linda Watson's aunt, Patricia Hinkle. We spoke with her last year as she recalled the day her niece went missing. Watson's remains were eventually found in a desert area in 2012, but that's not all. Marilyn Cox is Watson's mother, and this is her in 2002 talking about her daughter. She still has a little girl. And I need her home. She moved into Linda Watson's home after she disappeared and was trying to get visitation rights with her granddaughter. But Cox and her friend Renee Farnsworth were both gunned down after their first court appointed visitation in 2003. Deputies knew these murders were connected, and David Watson was their primary suspect the whole time, but they didn't have enough to arrest him. They, they left hardly any, anything at home, uh, or behind them at the home. There was, they found nothing. Fifteen years later, a break in the case gone cold. We're waiting to find out what that break was, but deputies arrested David Watson Saturday night. This morning, he appeared in video court. Good morning, what's your name? Watson. He was booked into jail and is being held on $2 million cash bond. The purpose is not just to ensure appearance, but to protect the community and the safety of other persons, including the victims, their family, and uh, witnesses in this case. I reached out to family on the phone, like Patricia Hinkle, and also family in Lancaster, Ohio. They wouldn't go on camera today as they wanted more time to think, but I asked them about the man in jail tonight. They said he was pompous and arrogant when they first met him. They say they believe that's why these women were killed. And when they heard the news of his arrest, they say it was bittersweet. Happy to have justice, but sad all these memories are flooding back, and now they're still waiting for answers. So additionally, the daughter Watson was fighting for is now a teenager and is living with an adopted mother. The family members I spoke with today say they're most concerned for her and her feelings, even telling me early on after the disappearance of Linda Watson that David Watson would even lie about the whereabouts of this girl's mother. Live in the newsroom, I'm Keaton Thomas, KGUN 9 on your side.